everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can make a square knot pattern with X's in between. Let's get started. To begin, I'm going to attach two ropes to a dowel rod using a lark's head knot. With these, I'm going to tie half of a square knot. To do this, I'm going to take the cord on the far right and cross it over the two cords in the middle to form a loop. Then I'm going to take that string on the far left to go over the right. It goes right behind the two in the middle and up through the loop. And then I pull that nice and tight. Now before I finish my full square knot, I'm going to bring in a third rope and I'm just going to stick it right behind the two in the middle. Then I'm going to just drape those two ends out of my way. You can wrap them around your dowel rod or if you have hooks you can use those to do this. And then I'm going to finish my square knot. So I'm going to take the side on the left this time to cross over the two in the middle to form my loop. The side on the right goes over that left rope behind the two in the middle and up through the loop. And then I just pull that nice and tight. Now we're going to work on getting our X pattern. To do this, I'm going to take those two ropes we had draped out of the way and I'm just going to cross the left one over the right to form this X. Now I'm going to bring the two neutral color cords on the left and the right right out in front and start tying my square knot. So I'm going to tie that first section of the square knot starting on the right side and I'm going to take it over the two cords in the middle. Then that left's going to go over the right neutral behind the two in the middle and up through the loop. And then I just pull that nice and tight. And as I pull it tight, I'm also going to pull on those two yellow cords to kind of adjust the X and tighten that up as well. Just like that. Now I'm just going to take those yellow cords, twist them so they're in front of the neutral colors, and I'm going to drape them out of my way once again. Now I'm going to finish my square knot by taking the left cord over the middle, then taking the right over that left cord. So I can send it behind the two in the middle to go up through the loop, and I pull it tight. Just like that. And then I'm just repeating the same steps again. So I'm going to take my yellow cords, cross the left over the right to make an X shape, take those neutral cords right out in front, and tie the rest of my square knot around the two cords in the middle. Pull it tight and adjust those yellow cords to smooth out the X and tighten it up as well. Just like that. And we're just repeating these steps over and over again.
And there you go. So all we do is just keep repeating this until we have reached the desired length. You guys can use this pattern to make plant hangers. You can use this as sections and wall hangings to make layers or just as elements. You can make this into a keychain or a bracelet, a belt, really anything you would like you can use this great pattern for. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.